Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, man. We're trying to get shredded eating fast food. How do we do it? And in this tier list, I'm going to help you out with my personal favorites. We're going to go by not only taste, but also how macro friendly it is. So if you're trying to get shredded with me, man, follow along. We're starting my diet right now. I'm down probably 15 pounds in the winter, down four over the last couple of weeks, I'm about 208 pounds. And the goal is to get 100 below 192 because that's what I was last year and we're pretty lean. But I want to get leaner in the best shape of my life. So 192, 193 pounds, and we'll reach that goal. Be sure to subscribe, man. I know a bunch of y'all showing love and following, but you're not subscribed. Stay tuned for more videos. We drop content every single day. Start number one. Probably the most underrated fast food joint on the planet. And we will stand no hate in the comments. If there's a single hateful comment about we got the meats, you will get banned. Arby's. Low key, the macros are pretty mediocre, but they're not bad, um, especially for fast food. You get a basic roast beef, Sammy, no cheese, no nothing, a little bit of their vinegary barbecue sauce, which is actually low key fire. Because of the macros, we can't top this thing what off too say? high, but I'll probably throw the Arby's in like an A. I think it's delicious. Roast beef, generally, if you go to a store and buy your own roast beef, like deli meat, is actually very, very lean. Theirs is a little fattier. I don't have the macros off the top of my dome, but it is something you can fit in um, fairly, fairly often if you had to. Jack in the box. This may be a hot take. I know a lot of y'all love that. I, I feel like anyone who's an alcoholic but won't admit to it here viewing this, always go to is Jack in the box or Taco Bell. And between the two, I don't think Jack in the box is that good. What do they got, a Baconator? Even on the straight munchies game, like their milkshakes are actually low key pretty decent and their fries are okay. If we're talking macro friendly, I assume they probably have like a grilled chicken sandwich somewhere, but it's not even close to the first options that pop in my brain when I'm trying to get jacked, shredded, vascular, veiny, lean and mean. I'm not even thinking about it. So for that case, we'll probably throw it in the D. They probably got a salad, they probably got a chicken thing, um, but overall, I think it doesn't taste that good. Price rise is decent. And then the macros are just not gonna be that good. There's gonna be better options. We're gonna whip through a couple of these because they're just easy brainers. A&W, pretty trash food if I'm being honest. Probably nothing that macro friendly besides like a diet A&W root beer, which is delicious. But for that case, we're also throwing it in D. It's not something I'm going to on my diet or even on like my cheat meals or, you know, it's just not that good. There's better options in this world. Auntie Anne's, same thing, probably in the F. I don't think they have a single diet food there. Pretzels, hard pretzels are pretty diet friendly because they're really low in fat, so you can get some carbs and salt from them. They taste pretty good. Fairly amount, a uh, good volume when you buy like a bag. Auntie Anne's, I think they drench it in butter and oil. Yeah, they're delicious, um, but there's no room for them if you're trying to actually get shredded. If you weigh 400 pounds and you're trying to drop your first 50, you could probably sneak in an Auntie Anne's on your, on your cheat day. Or even if you're trying to get leaner and you throw that in like a cheat day, I wouldn't be mad. Burger King. Low key, 20 years ago, Burger King, for some reason, had the best fries in the game. The best fries. I don't know who's changing the ingredients, manufacturing, what the hell's going on, but it's not it anymore. I haven't had it in a very long time. I used to also like, like their chicken strips, but there's nothing there. Again, they probably have a grilled chicken. And if you're always dieting and a burger's your option, you can always go no sauce, no cheese and you're gonna get some protein in there. You know, there's a difference between dieting and like managing your calories and actually trying to get like lean, lean. If you're just kind of floating around, you could probably do that at any fast food burger joint. You could grab a burger, no cheese, no sauce, just ketchup and mustard um, and double patty it or get a couple burgers, maybe take a, you know, a bun away to lower the carbs. But the fat's still gonna be fairly high. And to be honest, those burgers just aren't that good. Um, so for that, case we're also throwing the burger king probably in the d i'm sorry we're, we're ranking these so low fam but we'll, we'll, we'll come to go some golden nuggets in a second checkers i don't know if i've ever had it i think it's kind of a midwest thing throw that in the question mark you're trying to get shredded and you're trying to taste something delicious chick-fil-a is probably going in my personal favorites and it would be an s tier um the grilled chicken is literally lean as hell tastes pretty freaking good they have a a, a market wrap that macros are really good and it's just like chicken and veggies in a wrap with a little bit of cheese, really good macros. But the key here is a 30 count regular nugget. Their nuggets are some of the best nuggets in my opinion on the game. They're very lightly fried, very lightly breaded. And so don't quote me, but the final macros on like 30 nuggets is like 100 protein, 
50 carb, 30 fat or something like that, which is super diet friendly. I'm a big boy, so obviously I'm eating all 30, but you could split that up into two meals or share with a friend having 15 and you're getting 50 pretty high quality protein. It tastes like real chicken. Uh, absolutely delicious. They got a bunch of diet drink options. Um, plus again, the grilled stuff, the salads, I get a market salad there. And then I forgot what the fresh wrap is. All those three or four options are banging. And even again, if we're not getting shredded and we're just kind of managing their regular chicken sandwich calories actually aren't terrible, especially when you're talking fast food and the taste is delicious. Going up there with another personal favorite is Chipotle. I think this is Chipotle. The logo is a little weird. Um, Obviously, no sour cream. You get rid of some of the uh, the sauces. You get rid of some of the uh, cheeses, and you just do meat, rice, beans, and all the salsas. It tastes delicious. It's very healthy. If you're trying to get higher carb, you go with the burrito. You go lower carb, you go burrito bowl. Um, it's convenient. They're easy to find. And overall, although some people talk mess on them, yeah, it's salty, but salt's not bad for you. And then two, the quality you can taste. It tastes fairly fresh. Um, so again probably in the A or S tier and in my personal favorite. Fuck man, Cinnabon? You can't diet on no Cinnabon. I don't know the macros on there, but there's just no way that's gonna be good for getting shredded. I threw it in the F, although I love cinnamon rolls and Cinnabon low-key bangs. Jimmy John's. I get confused with my sandwich spots because all the logos look the same and all the stores look the same. But we're gonna throw all of them together. I'm just gonna do them all at the same time because I can't differentiate in my brain. But we're gonna go Jimmy John's and don't get mad at that. I know some of y'all are probably sandwich snobs and I am too, but I have a local joint that I go to if I want the best Sammy, right? So there, there probably is better or worse Sammy's in this list, but for me, none of them stood out in my head. They're all probably gonna be about B tier. So we got Jersey Mike's, Jimmy John's, Quiznos. Oh, Subway is the only one that's going into fucking F tier. Subway is trash. What's the other sandwich spot? Sandwich Witch or something? I think that's it for the sandwich spot. So any sandwich spot, I think you can do fairly healthy, man. Obviously there's a good amount of bread, so you're gonna get some carbs in there, but generally speaking, car, uh, bread is, is lower in fat. You watch your sauces, right? Maybe go with no sauce, maybe go with a mustard or a ketchup that are a little bit lower calorie. You get a leaner meat, a chicken, a roast beef, a turkey, ask them, but some places have really lean ham as well. Deli ham tends to be fairly lean. And then you pack it with veggies. You either get uh, light cheese or no cheese to get rid of the fat. And overall, again, maybe not totally shredded, but you can handle a sandwich here and there for a good amount of your diet. And all those to me, at least in my memory, taste pretty similar and all pretty good. Subway is the only one that's absolute trash. For some reason, the bread tastes soggy and not bready. Their meat tastes like not meat. There's nothing I enjoy about Subway besides maybe their chocolate chip cookie. And again, that's not happening on our diet list. So all those are probably thrown in the B, maybe C tier, cause you know, it is a lot of carbs and not a ton of protein, but you could double up your meat. I go like a turkey roast beef, maybe just lettuce, tomato, onion, load it up with veggies to stay full and get a little bit of micronutrients. We're going Dairy Queen in my personal favorites. On the list of dieting, it might sit more in a C or B tier because of the macronutrients, but one of my favorite desserts and favorite treats of all time is just a basic vanilla cone dipped in chocolate. And honestly, the macros on that aren't that bad. The fat's below 10, the carbs are maybe 40 to 60, and you know, five grams of protein or basically nothing. But if you have a little refeed day, you get some extra carbs. Um, again, depending on where you are in your diet from get shredded to just starting, you can definitely get 50 carbs in. Not the most, micronutrient dense cheat meal, but for sure, for sure something you can fit in. The blizzards and you start to get into that world, it's a little fattier, you get the candies, a little bit higher density of calories, um, but just a basic dipped cone is so delicious to me. Uh, definitely one of my favorites, Dunkin' Donuts. Now I think this is overrated in many, many ways. I'm gonna throw it in maybe like a C tier because I know they're known for their coffee and a lot of people love to do their sugar-free syrups and this and that, this and that. I drink black coffee, so any coffee is good when I'm dieting, a little appetite suppressant, a little kick in the pants, uh, and honestly, I do just love the taste of coffee. So I've had their iced coffee when traveling, and it's fine. Not my first option, not my worst. I do think maybe they have breakfast sandwiches. I'm not a Dunkin' Donuts regular, but they might have like an egg whitey sandwich. Don't quote me on that. Um, but for coffee, it's probably fine. Obviously, donuts aren't fitting into your diet. They're gonna be really, really hard once you start to try to get shredded. They're high in fat and carbs. And that's the truth. Everyone says sugar makes you fat. It does not. High calories make you fat. And the truth is all delicious foods, 
like the ones we're highly palatable and we're addicted to, they're all full of fat and sugar. Cookies, ice cream, pizza, you name all the things that typically are known as quote unquote junk foods and they're gonna be high in fat and carbs and that's part of the issue here. Pollo Loco, I think it's a low key hitter. Um, not the best chicken I've ever had, but I'll probably throw it in lower, lower A. Um, I think it's really solid protein you can get. You can get a little bit of veggies. They have like a keto wrap burrito deal that's just kind of like chicken and beans or something. Like it's very solid, affordable, consistent, tastes like real chicken. Even I think you can just get grilled chicken like by the, not pound, but by the piece. Um, so that's actually a really solid uh, option while you're traveling in my opinion. Five guys, something I've never actually even tried to order healthily. I'm probably gonna throw it in the D just based on macros. Five Guys is obviously delicious. French fries ain't a diet food, high in carb, high in fat. Um, and even if you go with their burgers, no cheese, no sauce, I just feel like their ground beef is probably pretty fatty and greasy. It's delicious, but it's not the first option I'm going to. And then for the price point, it's probably not there. In and out. You know, honestly, I'll probably throw it in the C tier. Uh, you go protein style, you go no sauce. The, 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 the ground beef they use is a little, or the patties they use are a little fatty, but you go no cheese, no sauce, a little bit of ketchup, and In-N-Out is so consistent, so affordable, you can get a little dose of protein in there if you want. You know, maybe you do a double-double, no sauce, then you do one or two double-doubles, no sauce, no cheese, wrapped in lettuce, and you're probably getting, a, a, you know, 100, 100 protein in there. You can probably get the patties by themselves, but a little lettuce, a little tomato, never hurt. KFC right down there with the trash buckets. They're fried chicken, greasy, slimy. You know, they talk about McDonald's cooking with pink goo, but I literally taste pink goo when I eat KFC. And I know they probably have a grilled option now, but I'm not batting an eye at it, man. Their biscuits low key, not too bad. Maybe their chicken strips, not too bad, but it's not helping our diet. There's no, no need, no, nothing we're going there. Same thing with my poor guys at Krispy Kreme. They're coming to the top of the list. So I put the top of the list in F, and we're gonna do it in order. It's probably Krispy Kreme, then Cinnabon, then Auntie Anne's. They're there because they're not macro friendly, friendly, although I love all three. Subway and KFC are there because they're not macro friendly and they're freaking nasty. Long John Silver, way out there at the bottom of F. Absolutely disgusting. I'm sure they got some kind of fish you can eat. I'm never getting fish from a fast food restaurant. I would rather eat sushi from a gas station than eat fish from a drive through restaurant. <laughs> McDonald's, I'm sorry boys, you're going down there in the bottom list of D also. Again, I think they have like an artisan chicken grilled sandwich I've done on the road. It's definitely not bad. Maybe it'll be the top of D. Top of D for McDonald's. Because their, their artisan chicken honestly isn't that bad. And I think the macros are decent. But but it doesn't scream to me. It is affordable. They have little yogurt parfaits and, and oatmeal and stuff you can do for, for breakfast. that You can maybe get away with some stuff. But... Um, it's, it's nothing to write home about, especially when there's other options. I'd almost rather go to a gas station or a little salad place along the way. Panda Express, we're in the conversation. Maybe top of B? Um, I think they've semi-recently redone their teriyaki chicken and it tastes much more chickeny, much more real, very good. You can get a bunch of veggies on the side, a little bit of white rice, depending on your diet. Even their other meats in there are a little packed with sodium. You know, again, but isn't the end of the world sodium essential and it's something that when controlled, depending on your health, can be absolutely fine. Um, but I get full veggies there and like three sides of chicken teriyaki. Um, it is thigh, so I think the fat's a little high compared to chicken breast, but Absolutely delicious, easy, and uh, pretty pretty easy to find. Panera, I'm gonna throw in the question mark simply because I probably haven't had it in the last 15 years. I can't remember, um, but I'm sure you could probably get a decent salad there, soup, or sandwich that is macro friendly. I just can't speak on like my order there, so we're moving on. All these guys are going into F. Popeyes does taste better than KFC, but I'm not going. You know, I'm decaying, same thing. Like the chicken is better than KFC, but it's all fried, it's gonna be fatty. Um, and then their grilled stuff's just not my option. I'm gonna keep driving till I find something. I'm gonna keep driving till I find something. There will be options. Sonic, same thing, probably going in the F. A lot of these fast foods, you know, yes, you can make do, you know, eating half a burger or a child's burger, but that's not how I eat. I'm hungry, and when I'm dieting, I'm even hungrier. So I'd rather stay hungry till I find a good option than like meticulously track one chicken fried from Cane's. Like that's just not how I diet. If that's your style, go on and party on. Um, but for me, it's not it. 
Steak and Shake, same thing. I haven't had in a decade, but I've had it in Ohio. They don't have it on the West Coast. A greasy, very fast foody, delicious burger, but it's not cutting the, the calories. Um, I do think they probably have a chicken sandwich or something, but I've never tried it. Uh, when I like to enjoy my food, I like to enjoy my food. So if I'm going to Five Guys, I'm not trying to make a diet. I'm going to enjoy what Five Guys does best. Taco Bell, same thing, to be honest. Um, we'll throw in like the D. I think, the, I think one of their basic tacos, like a chicken taco, soft wrap kind of deal, is okay calories. They used to have Fresca style. I don't know if they still have that. I don't really eat drive through, but it used to just be like chicken tortilla and like fresh salsa. Um, and that was generally healthy. So if you if you're on a, a cut, you could find a way. It's affordable. It tastes pretty good. Um, maybe I'll put it at the top near McDonald's or something. It, it, it's good. Uh, again, D though, right? Where in the in the scale here, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna find something else. I'd rather drive through, stop real quick. If we're on a road trip or traveling to a to a store, and grab like a rotisserie chicken or even just cold cuts deli meats and some bread and make my own like high protein sandwich. That's that's more of a route I would go. Wendy's. Wendy's nuts are in your mouth. <laughs> Bottom of Yay! D. I think they do have grilled stuff. They're actually like fries, chicken, spicy chicken. All these are absolutely delicious, but they're not that macro friendly. Again, if you can coordinate your whole day so you know you're having like egg whites and sourdough in the morning, then you're gonna have Wendy's chicken sandwich or something for lunch and then dinner is just veggies, veggies and chicken breast. You can probably hit your macros that way. But I only really do that in extreme cases. I don't like to vary that hard. I like to focus on my volume. I like to focus on my micronutrients um, and, and more home cooked meals as much as I can or food that tastes home cooked, right? That's kind of going back to like the, the Chick-fil-A for some reason to me just tastes like real chicken and some of these other spots don't hit it. So I'm going to try to avoid them hoes. But what a burger. Actually, I think it's underrated. I think it's a really good burger. When we're talking dieting, it's not it. It's going in the D and Zaxby's. I've heard of, and I've actually heard solid things, but I can't speak it on from personal experience, so it's going in the question mark. Remember now, Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, they could probably be in the S tier because they hit the price point, they hit the taste buds, and they hit the micros, but I just do them in the personal favorite because that's what I eat while I'm dieting, or even when I'm not dieting, and I just need something quick. That's probably the... the quote unquote cleanest or best tasting um, foods that I can find on the road. And then DQ, personal favorite, just because of the dipped cone. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting shredded man fast food. New series coming, we're gonna start talking about my cut. I know we talked about doing it in the past and, and, and I have been cutting. I've added cardio in, we layered it in, but we're gonna go over my entire plan for my cut for the shreds next. We're getting below 193 pounds this summer um, and I'd love for y'all to come along. So 3SB.co for all your clothing needs. Big drops coming June, July, August, so stay tuned to that. Join the Discord, goodcompanydiscord.com. I'd love to see y'all there. Uh, be a part of something bigger yourself, man. Community and culture, Solomon Mike. Catch y'all in the next one.